Yes, sir, this is Tippy I. The time has come for the lions to tell our own story. You're listening to the Lion's Voice blog. Respect and love from St. Croix VI to the world. Rastafari. Mm -hmm. The fittest, fittest of the fittest shall survive. My people, people, open your eyes. Wake up. Blessed love, this is Queen Omega representing for all lions and lionesses. With the lion's voice, we come to tell our story. Rastafari, live it. Hey, hey, the lion's voice. Rastafari. Marcus Garvey is is very um, influential in 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 all of this because Marcus Garvey had a printry scene, and and that is how he could have dispersed and get his 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 word out there to you know to gather um you know the people who was interested in what he had to say so the 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 the, the, the platform the the social media you know i and i as rastafari have to be the marcus garvey now you know we're you know you know the social media platform is concerned and and why i why i said that is because today zine you have you have artists you have reggae artists who are influential very influential and people listen to them and 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 they come as rastafari um artists yeah and these artists these reggae artists what they're doing they're misleading they're misleading black people african mm. people see and i don't want to call any particular name but i'm sure people know and hear the ones who are vocal about um jamaica black people is indigenous to jamaica where Within Rastafari, um, nothing no go so. Nothing no go so within Rastafari. Zin, black people, is Africans. And that is why I, I use Marcus Gavi in the beginning, mm -hmm. because Marcus Gavi is the one who was saying, Africa for the Africans, woman abroad, born and unborn. So we have to repatriate back to Africa. Marcus Gavi is one. Marcus Gavi is a forerunner. He is the man, as I said, pint us to His Majesty. So, the blueprint or the black print that Marcus Gavi left was a back to Africa um, mission. It was going back to Africa. We were taken out illegally, so we have to now return. And if if we're gonna get help to return all good and well but we have to independently make our way back to back to africa so that is how the black star line came into play seeing that we wanted to transport ourselves we wasn't going to depend on um the the, the the white man to to do this for us zine so when you have reggae artists today zine selling a narrative that they are rastafari and they're telling the people them that they're indigenous to Jamaica. I think us as influencers, us as ones who use this platform to edify our brothers and sisters and to show them Rastafari and to show them their roots and where they're coming from and where they need to go. I think I and I and this platform is very important. Zin, we are very to 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 debunk these narrative that these sellout system dogs or whatever people want to call them are doing yes. see because they are misleading and they, they, when when they make their money off of the name of rastafari this is the thing that they come now and they're doing they're misleading the people telling they're indigenous to 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 jamaica and they're aboriginal all right um you know, you have a lot of people out there that, you know, they put on a, a, a facade, you know, you know, like they are something that they're really not. 
you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people are malicious, you know? And I come across some malicious um, entertainers and, 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 and reggae and dancehall artists, you know what I mean? So I decided that I'm not really going to pay much um, attention to, um, to these malicious individuals because most of them sell out and we know this, you know, because it's not even a matter of real, no real. You know, we know what we know. See? So going to Ghana, you know, going to Ghana is an experience, you know, within it within itself. It's a great experience for I have been there um this year for the third time, you know, and you know, from the first time to the third time, you know, I've seen different things, you know what I mean? Um, Marcus Garvey speak about um, science and, and technology that we as a people have to be extra lands with, within it. You know what I mean? So um, I think what we are doing today, you know, in, in, in this modern age with, with, with um, social media is very powerful. Is very is, is 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 very powerful, and I think uh, the, the 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 people probably who have created you know this social space, they probably didn't have the idea that it probably would have propelled to where it is today, yes. and have the impact that it 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 really have because you know it have so much of an impact that something real that will publish you have the mainstream will say this is fake and it's <laughs> it's actually the real deal yeah. and what they're telling you is actually the fake stuff you know what i mean so it it is it is very powerful very powerful and it is important that i and i as rastafari you know we utilize it in in the best possible way that we can what what was um that big moment i still haven't had a, a a viral moment what was your first big moment where you you drop a piece of content and you see said this thing take off okay um viral moment uh, <laughs> i don't know if if i can call it a viral moment but um van Van Benjamin, mm. Van Benjamin, um, sadly passed away a few yes. years ago. Seen, um, from the Midnight Band from yeah, out of Antigua, also, you know, um, VI, yes. and then places, right. yeah, yeah, seen, um, lately known as Aki Becker, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, when Van. When Van passed away, um, I I wanted to to reason with Van because I was just um, I think probably about two 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 to year two to three years prior Van passing away, I was just getting into his his music and his and his and his works. I think one of the first um, one of the first um, works. I, I came across was a rhythm title um warrior warrior rhythm I, I, if if i'm if i'm remembering properly zine so from then you know i, I started to take an interest into into van work and you know and what he was doing so i wanted to speak to van you know because he, he was someone who was you know was extraordinary you know, he was extraordinary. He was, he was a prolific um, reggae artist, if I can call him that. See, I, I never hear no, no artist like him before. You know, I've heard Bob Marley, I've heard Cizla Kolonji, you know, and I think Bob Marley and Cizla Kolonji is one of the two biggest artists within um, reggae music, but Vaughn, was something totally different from them two bridging there, uh -huh. you know, in in how we deliver, 
you know, and, and, and so on. But cut a long story short, Zane, Vaughn passed away. When Vaughn passed away, um, it was in the COVID time, I, I, I think, mm -hmm. Zane. And I think I was one of the first person to did a, 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 a vlog or, or a content and, and, you know, when he, when he passed away. Okay. And those 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 videos, you know, those video really draw a lot of fans, um, fans and friends and 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 family um, to to the platform, you know, because as I said, I wanted to speak to Van, and you know, he went, you know, abruptly like that, and I I, I thought that. I needed to, you know, start to put out, you know, some, you know, some things and, yes. and, and van. And people started to link me from, you know, all over. People who know him personally, you know, who sit with him, who drink with him, who smoke with him, you know, started to, you know, started to link me and, you know, wanted to come on the program and, and, and so on. You know, so van passing away, I think is what... Wow. Um, propel the, the the platform to where um it is today so you know, we have to document our story you know Good that job. is that is important you know as 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 journalists as influencers as you know bloggers or vloggers or whatever one want to term us as within this space you know we have to make sure that we be that marcus Giavi who was reaching the people through his paper. Now we are using social media in this modern time to, to reach the people and, you know, to direct the people to, to where they're supposed to go. It's not Jamaica, but it's to Ethiopia, Africa. You know what I mean? That is, that is where black people is originally from, and that is where we need to return. So our duty now is to make sure we say we all the line, my lad. Yeah. Well, lion voice, tell them that's the people first choice. Lion voice, make the lion let them feel nice. Lion voice, with the lion cubs we sacrifice. Lion voice, got to show the people them the line. Lion voice. This is culture sound, culture sound, a Rastaman sound, positive sound. Culture sound seems to be the Asian culture for the teaching. And now you're in tune to the culture sound, Rasta sound. Culture sound, because of DJ culture for the teaching. I and I help coming from the true living eyes, Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie the first, who created Zion and Earth. He shall not suffer and I foot to be moved. I hold, he that keep it Ethiopia shall neither slumber nor sleep. Well. Youths in the streets right now, riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. One bad police right now, riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. No justice, no peace right now, riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. The fire now cease right now, riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. The youths them rise against brutality, man kill another man for your salary. Them train them at the shooting gallery, black and loot, you might lose all your family. Them defend white supremacy So them see the African as them enemy Yeah, I'm gonna say a culture this sound like this for centuries Them sick mentally, that's why we Have the out in the streets right now Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down One bad police right now Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down No justice, no peace right now Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down The fire now cease right now Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down Them said them tired of the Shooting, I and I tired of them shooting. Crew clubs clan they recruiting. Then them just up in a blue suit and they're brutalizing and use them. No court, they just execute them. Till the people start learn the truth and the black youth go strap on them giddy and boot and them out in the streets right now. Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. Greetings in that divine name of His Imperial Majesty Emperor Elias Selassie the First. Glory and honor in the name of his chosen queen, Empress Wazir Menen, 
My name is Kwasi Bansu, a.k.a. the Chance Match Kwasi, a.k.a. Ras Kwasi, a.k.a. the Reading Ras, a.k.a. the Pan-African Happy Man, creative industry attorney. I'm an artist. I'm an author. I'm an actionist. And right now, I am the host of Lion Talk. Welcome to Lion Talk and welcome to the Lion Voice Network, where the lions and the lionesses are telling our own story. Super special episode today, family. Uh, you hear I talk about Rastafari, independent, non-aligned media. I have a bridging with perhaps the largest Rastafari platform, Rastafari-owned brand in media uh, here with I today. And we're going to go in depth on the topic of Rastafari non-aligned media. Uh, we are here at the Lion Voice Network. The item know I already. We've not just come to talk. Uh, we've been reaching out to the platforms, reasoning a guan, uh, the uprising will be here uh, and on other platforms. But we are going to uh, really be obedient to Kadamari Ayla Selassie, the organize and centralize mandate. We have to live it right now. Uh, we see what's happening, family. Uh, the end of the petrol dollar has arrived. The uh, emergence of BRICS and the multipolar world. Um, World War Three underway. How is the Rastafari community reacting to all of these things? What is the role of Rastafari independent, non-aligned media to keep I and I informed and to to rally? Um, you know this response in this Armageddon. The guest I have here is uniquely positioned to answer some of these questions. The brethren is in Jamaica. He's in Ghana. I'm out, you know so. Is a person where I love um, watch your content, you know what I mean, and, and learn to and, and touch certain topics. Um, but before we do that, let me big up Ramia King Design, big up yourself, Ross Lidge, um, the Tumblr, you know, I always have either my tea, my coffee, uh, water, whatever we, we have a drink. Um, is a Rastafari bridge and provide that for I big up yourself, big up. See Mass Life, Ras Wolde. Um, big up yourself. Uh, one of the top Sea Mass beverage I ever taste in my man life and is a sponsor of the Lion Voice Network. Big up yourself. Of course, I have to also big up the Lion Pride. And remember, if you subscribe, you are part of the Lion Pride. Big up the Lion Pride on Patreon. 18 away. I'm linking arm and arm right now. The item remember when I just two people for two years and we hold it. Now family is starting to rally in and we give thanks um, for the uprising. And we're going to talk about the, the, the economics of Rastafari independent media. But one thing is for sure is that it has to be funded by the people to avoid the corruption. Um, it has to be funded by the people. We don't want any one sponsor can shake away from what we have to do. You know what I mean? This is for the item and the item. We are grateful uh, for the Lion Pride, for the support. And big up the Ubuntu Lion Pride. These are brethren and sisters who made us give a one-time contribution. You know what I mean? They not depend on the monthly subscription, but they love what they see. You may have a millionaire watch the program and him just want to drop a 10 grand upon the Lion Voice Network. He would be part of the Ubuntu lion pride because i am because we are you understand so uh we just big up all of the supporters who are making this possible this uprising slow and steady but we are rising and we're not gonna stop you know what i mean we want rastafari news program we want rastafari movies we want rastafari animated movies we want rastafari documentaries and biography and whole whole gambit you know what I mean? Where's the Battle of Adawa feature film? You know, who going to build it? These are the things that we're talking about right now, family. Um, there's no limitation. So please help I to welcome a, a warm uh, Lion Voice Network welcome to this brethren, brethren that I am inspired by. He goes by the name of Aija Star. Welcome, family to the Lion Voice Network. Welcome to Lion Talk. Blessed love, brother Kwesi. 
Ah, uh, warm welcome, great honor and a pleasure to be here on the platform, my lord. Holy Emmanuel I, King Selassie I, Ninja Rastafari, Majesty. Yes, thanks. it's a joy, you know, to hear that voice, a voice I listen to, you know what I mean, on the YouTube. Um, I know if you ha have it there, uh, it's a joy for I, you know. Um, but, but please, um, let us step into the Lion Talk time machine uh, and let us return to the uh, youthful days. Um, where was the I born and what was the I journey to Rastafari? All right. Um, give thanks again. I uh, want to say blessed um, Father's Day to to the I and um, you know all the rest of the brothers them out there you know holding you know their position you know as as a father zin manners and respect and you know give thanks for um that contribution towards the upliftment of you know i and i um as a people you know because we need you know the fathers them to you know to be around and to be there you know what I mean? Not just um, playing a role, you know, because, you know, playing a role is just playing a role, but, you know, a father is a father, you know what I mean? So give thanks to all of the virgin them who, you know, are all them position, are all them office, you know, yeah. as, you know, a, a great father, you know. So give thanks again. And bless up all, you know, the mothers also because, you know, it's a balance. You know, it's a balance. It's not just the fathers. You know, we know uh, Mother's Day pass and now it's um, Father's Day. But, you know, there's a balance, you know, it's the father and the mother. So, you know, bless up all, you know, the mothers, them out there. Because most time, most time, you know, or sometime you have mothers also playing that father you know father's role you know what i mean and i know you know that can really substitute for being you know a father but you know something is better than nothing you know so give thanks to all of the you know the mothers them out there said we you know um all in their office also yes i and large up to all you know the listeners you know that is tuning in right now manners and respect you know give thanks for tuning in so i am honorable i just star um the mindset and i was born in jamaica uh, st andrew jubilee hospital um i grew up in a community called augustown okay uh, I know most people would have heard about Augustown um, due to the history and also you have popular Rastafari entertainers, you know, who is from Augustown. But I'm, I'm one of those individuals who was born in Augustown and um, grew up in Augustown for a period of time. And, you know, the time growing up in Augustown was, was great because you know we, we we live in the riverbed you know and in the riverbed it's 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 a different vibe altogether it's like you know you're their country you know in a in a in a zone because everything is just um natural natural you know what i mean everything is is fresh green lush you know so it's great growing up in the riverbed and in Augustown, you know, Augustown is a place where it's it's a very spiritual place because okay. you know you have ones like Bedward, Alexandra Bedward, yes, yes. who was a, a famous, a famous if I can call him famous, but you know, a famous individual who rose up in in augustown to you know to set augustown on a level on a spiritual level and also on a 
economical level within you know the community and a self-reliance um level so you know ones like bedward alexandra bedward you know is 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 ones who eat towards you know the spirituality within um augustown and you know then came you know the rastafari virgin and sister in them because you know Rast the rastafari community within augustown is is very strong you know what i mean so you know we grew up in 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 that you know atmosphere within within augustown was, you know was the mean, i familiar with a youth, place called dread eyes you growing up yeah. yes i yeah man yeah man familiar with all of them place there you know as okay. a youth you know running up and down you know we have virgins you know who was you know born rasta you know from you know from from in a dreadites you know and and other okay. other places within augustown to said we you know what i mean um does, so, does the i know yeah, man, uh, augustown uh, is British. where sorry go ahead No, I was saying Augustown, you know, Augustown is is a is a place where, you know, a lot of culture, a lot of spirituality, you know what I mean, you know, exists within within um Augustown because on a Saturday, as I said, within the within the riverbed where I grew up, on a Saturday there was a there was a seven Adventist church there. You know what I mean? And every Saturday, you know, is is yeah, yeah, hear all the hymns them that you know I as a as a bobo now you know we would we would we would write these hymns and chants um within within services and you know growing up in, in Augustown that seven Adventist um church was you know uh, was some it was something you know it was something to 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 be all I, I i guess you know that did something to i and i you know said we mm. you know as an individual you know who on the part of you know trying to know who god is and you know on the part of you know spirituality you know from that from that young young tender age so you know augustone is where you know i'm from and you know it's a it's a very um beautiful place it's not what it used to be uh yes. today you know but, but um it it's, it's still a beautiful place. does the i know Dwayne stevenson yes brother crazy okay. but yeah that's you know augustone is where you know i was i was brought up Yes, I. The I know Dwayne Stevenson, the artist. I don't know him personally, but you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I know of him. Yeah. He, he, I, he, I, he, I interviewed him, and, he, and he's from Augustown there, and very, you know, um, similar, similar testimony to what I just said about Augustown, you know. Um, so when when was the i uprising what decade were you a youth in augustown so just to give some context yeah well you know i born in the 1900s you know and um <laughs> so we 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 are, we are talk about like you know 90 94 okay. you know 93 you know 80s coming up you know yes yes yeah. yes Ag Augustown, you know is a very very it's a, it's a very progressive place you know i must say it's a very progressive place it's a place where um it, it not really are about eaglers you know where where okay. i i grew up you know because pillar you know pillar selling pillar was one of the number one thing where you know i i grew up in augustown okay. you know, pillar you know it's like there was a pillar factory in augustown when there wasn't really a pillar factory but you know the amount of 
pillar that was produced, produced in yeah. Augustown in, in, in my youth days growing up, it, it was phenomenal to see um, youths back and forth, back and forth, um, you know, from Papi in our way over there, they're going to sell pillar, but they're coming back to always reload to go back on the road. Wow. You know what I mean? So, very progressive place. Um, I met Elder Bona G's Bongo Wato in August Town, you know, before he passed. Wow. And it was, um, you know, that time he was bedridden at that time. So, I never got to meet the elder in his full glory. But um, that is one of the, the, the strong memories of my youthful child, you know, is going to August Town, meeting this elder, you know, and, and the whole mystique of the place and, and everything, you know, hearing about the place. Um, but definitely special. So so what, what was the first um, time when you had this recognition of Rastafari of a way of life? all right you know rastafari rastafari really came to i um from a tender age still you know when i when i really analyze you know my 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 journey forward in up to to this point in life you know rastafari came very early um why i said that because the, the the house that i grew up in with with my father and my mother and um my younger brother um there was a there was a picture of marcus garvey in the mm. house seen and that picture of marcus garvey was my father put it there for whatever reason um that picture was there it was there seen and I always observe that picture. I hmm. always observe that picture. You know what I mean? As a as a youth, as a young, as, you know, my band come see that picture in the house. See yes. a picture of His Majesty, and also a picture of of Bob Marley. See along with Marcus Garvey. Okay. Zin, and some football players and and thing. See so I know that my father put that picture there for a reason Zin, because my father and marcus gavi share the same birthday okay. the same the 17th of august the same birthday see so to i that is something significant to know, know that a man like marcus gavi and my actual father born the same day Zin and Marcus Gavi is not a normal individual. Zin. So looking at that and analyzing that now, um, I, I, I think that I am I am I am the version of what my my father wanted to become, I, I think today. You know, wow. I, I am that version. So Rastafari came through my father you know the thing that he he presented to 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 Iman, the things that was in the house the things them that we we we, we talk about you know i mean the reasoning that we had at, at at a young age and then you know within the yard that i grew up it was a yard where rasters from all over people from all over Come at a yard if you buy herb, my lord. You see me? Okay. I say herb are the, the highest grade of herb selling at a yard. Zine, so okay. people from all walk. So evening time, you know, the the, the, the level of reasoning we are going rust from here, dear. And there was there was a bubble. There was a bubble in, in the yard that live, you know, behind the main yard. There was a bubble. Virgin, who them call him pumpkin, Zin, very yeah. weird to you know, for a bubble pumpkin for a car bubble on a real deal with vine and them people, yes. the pumpkin, the bubble yeah. did name, but it was very artistic. <laughs> you see, me is a virgin where do a lot of craft work okay. and and painting, and you know, what I mean, he built 
you know, kite so we could fly, you know. So I was always, you know, as a youth, always I got check the bubble for whatever reason. But, you know, it, I wasn't interested in, 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 in Rastafari, you know, knowingly. You know what I mean? I wasn't conscious yeah. of, you know, the fact that you know, this was, you know, this was part of the process. You know what I mean? It's now, you know, at this age, you know, looking back on my journey coming up as a youth, I, I see that all these, you know, all these things that I passed through have really contributed to I, you know, being a Rastafari today. Okay. So, you know, that's 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 where, you know, Rastafari started for I from 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 a young, young tender age. But you know, to come into the full knowledge now of Rastafari and start to um living it, you know, and practicing it and 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 reading and, and so on, you know, came at about um age nineteen. You know, 19, 20, you know, 21, them, them age, you know, we start to, you know, do a lot of research and reading into, into what Rastafari is, you know, who is Rastafari, you know, because these days now we start to become, you know, curious, you know, based on some of the things them that we hear um, in, in the public space, probably from musicians are probably from um you know tv influencers whether they're movie stars or you know what i mean um mm -hmm. interviewers are, 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 and so on you know so we you know we start to 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 dig for ourselves to try to find out you know more about who is this black king you know that yes. marcus garvey um prophesy about and say you know, would would be our um, God and King and our Redeemer as a people. So, mm -hmm. you know, the age twenty one. You know, we 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 buy we buy this 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 is one of our first book that we bought. Don't know if anyone can see it. Philosophies you know, and opinion. Yeah, man, that's a must must have in everyone's see? collection. Um, yeah. I'm the reading Ross. So, I just know, that's, that's I'm the reading Ross. You know. I'm the reading rass, so you can pull out book. If you feel if you pull out book, you know, pull them, you know. We, have, we can't pull them, man. We can't pull them. Yeah, man, we love that. You we know, so that. that's 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 where it started. You know, age yeah. age twenty one. You what, know, what going, what year was you know, that? What to... year did you turn twenty one? Uh, 21 about 2000 and uh, about 2001 around about okay. yeah 2001 okay yeah. so we're we're similar age, then. About we're them age. Si yeah we're similar age um one of the things um in my uprising i i have to um say that one of the most influential artist in my uprising was an artist by the name of Sisla Kalanji who is also um, coming out of August Town you know um, 90 True. late 90s when I was at university a beer Sisla Kalanji I was listening to first time I ever hear the word Melchizedek utter it come out of Sisla Kalanji I said who is Melchizedek and you know and I hear all of these sounds um, this day I, day I know Sisla Kalanji and how important was his impact on, on the August Town in that early, uh, late 90s, early 2000 period. All right. Um, Miguel, I, 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 I don't remember um, Miguel, for, you know, as a, as a youth growing up, but I'm, I'm sure, you know, he was... He was there in the mix because where where we are in in um in Augustown, where Miguel lives is, is not far from you know where all of I and I live. You know, where okay. I live, it wasn't far. You know what I mean? And I don't remember him as a as a youth growing up, but as I say, I'm sure 
it was probably you know somewhere there you know what i mean when it's summertime and all of the youths them were there in the in the river bed when the river dry up and we are playing and thing you know what i mean so yes. I, I, i'm sure it was it was there and you know we never really cross part like that but um in influence the influence that sizzler have yes a, 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 a great influence um and i you know as a as a as an individual um because you know when when he came out i was still in jamaica at the time by okay. the way when you know when when you know sizzler came on the scene and you know he was saying he was saying all the right things he was saying the things that would let you let you think and and let you go and research and let you question things you know what i mean he was saying all those things he was he was a very powerful um influencer you know because he within that time you know i think i not even think i know most of the youths them that um start chatting rastafari uh miguel collins had uh a lot of that influence I, I'm one of them. I'm one with, of them. I just know, a lot of the youth coming into Rastafari yeah. within within that period of time. He, I, he was I'm, that powerful. Yeah, man. I'm one you of know? them. I'm one of them. You know, I still listen to Sizzler from '96 to 2002. You know, um, I don't know so much of the new Sizzler them, but them that period of time, that is the chronicle of my uprising. You know them. Black woman of, and child, praise Ija, you know, royal son of Ethiopia, freedom cry, you know, blazing fire, mm -hmm. you know, um, all of them, uh, Bobo Shanti, them album there, you know, was was like the soundtrack to my uprising. I still listen to them song there right now, today, today, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so so it, it's, it's a special, but I had to ask the eye that question coming out of Augustown. <laughs> And knowing that they are, have that, um, you know, he had that impact impact on on Iman. Um, so in terms of His Majesty, you now because you know, yes, there, uh, what I've realized is that there are two things. You have the culture Rasta culture, you know, which is a general broad culture, um, you know, uh, black oriented culture. But you will have some Rasta that don't really to deal with his majesty, you know? So I, I differentiate. Yeah. Um, I have Rastafari, <laughs> Rastafari people now who are dealing with his majesty. When did that, um, you know, or how was that uh, unfolding to the eye now? Were, were you looking into the divinity of Haile Selassie I and, and saying, yes, I am? You know, how, how was that? Or what was that moment? well um that's a that's a great question that's a great question um you know about looking into the divinity of um his majesty i i think for me you know for ayman it, it's been a passage over the passage of time you know it yes. haven't been just one um specific time zine because uh, you, you might know something today See, and tomorrow you find out something different again about Lich Tafari where you never know about. You see me, I say, because enough people probably don't even know that is Lich Tafari Makanen is yes. his majesty real name, you know. True. So, is 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 the, the, the journey of learning about. Oh, the divinity of his majesty have been you know over you know over time over time because the bible have a lot to do with 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 rap they say um a while ago you have different sects of rastafari some who deal with his majesty and some who don't deal with his majesty now the ones them who don't deal with his majesty zane today i feel like them said that them coming like um 
the radical Islam type of bridging them. Zin within Rastafari. Zin. Okay. Yeah. That that radical type of energy where them does a go against, you know, everything. Because you can't have his majesty. The Bible is there for you to read. Zin, you must read it. And I myself, I glorify in it. Zin, so read likewise it and I, you will find. Likewise, I yes. You will, you will, you will find, you will find truth. Zin, now you, you will have some bridging lick against that that type of that type of energy there, where His Majesty, the King, Zin of our feet, I and I feet. Zin, because Rastafari, the term, uh, the name came through Lich Tafari. You see I what I say? A Lich Tafari that the, 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 the Rasta come out of. Zin, yes, so uh, him at uh, the head creator of Rastafari, regardless if it was um, um, erected or, or initiated in Jamaica from the bridging them. Zin in the 30s or early 20s, Zin that is even beside the point. The point is, is this man is the head of, of, of the Rastafari organization and movement. So if he's saying that you should read it, I don't see why you should be coming against it in 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 a in in, in a sense where is like is an undermine of the king to say why what the king is telling us is something wrong you yes, know what i mean foolishness. um so I, I i i take a hard line on these things that's why i start to differentiate between rasta and rastafari you know because some rasta are rastafari but some rastafari are not rasta you have ones where because rasta to me is a jamaican culture you know, it, it, it's a style, it's, it has all these accoutrements that come with it. But um, to I, Rastafari is the living eye, is a living man. So once you go outside of that, you're doing something different. You know what I mean? I can't say you're Rastafari and you're doing something that's completely outside of the teaching of his majesty. You know what I mean? Because that is really, you will make up that. You know what I mean? So. True. Uh, and I don't want to tell a man, I can't tell a man he's not Rasta because I himself identify as that. So I'm mm-hmm. not going to get in a fight with a man over that. But you can't tell me, say, use Rastafari and you are teaching things that are directly opposite to the teaching of his majesty. You know what I mean? To me, that's a confusion and we have to stop compromise with these ones because these ones have licked down a lot of things, education, organization, and when we check a lot of it is in discipline that these ones are really um promoting you know i mean under the guise of the mystic you know i mean but when we check out this mystic where they're my push is really in discipline so i kind of reached a stage in my chart where i i i I have to make a separation um from these ones because um I can't be arguing back and forth about his majesty with a man and him uh, and we say we are the same thing that no make no sense to i you know what i mean it, it, it's counterproductive so i have to give you your category over there as rasta and respect to every rasta but mm-hmm. i'm on chad rastafari without apology you know what i mean majesty and, and, and that is the, the the position i and i hold and i and i stand by that divine power you know side of any thing out there because we live it and we've experienced the victory under that power i can't speak for anything else you know what i mean minaga shortcut ras and minaga shortcut tofari or tofadi or whatever you want to call it but minaga shortcut them in a rasta and i was born in jamaica but i'm not going there but that's my rant for the day i just start <laughs> this is the i <laughs> this is the i interview <laughs> so i don't want but you know i it's a touchy topic you know but but i I, I have on that fire right now because i find out that we don't have no institutions you know what i mean we're in 2024 
and we're still going around about foolishness, you know what I mean? And, and so we have to separate the ones them. His Majesty teaching is clear, 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 clear. So anything outside of that, I, know, I, I can't support it. And you know what I mean? Big up yourself. But right over here, we're building school, health center, the building of Africa United. You know what I mean? The agenda that His Majesty outlined is I and I agenda. So yes, in sir. terms of, of, of the Bobo Shanti trad now, because the Bobo Shanti trad is also unique. We have a whole heap of respect for King Emmanuel, man of right. Um, is God in flesh to I is one of the most profound statement um, that I have heard, you know, in, in all of my years trotting. How, you know, I was called into the Naya Bingyada, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, I always respect Bobo Shanti, although there was a little tension in the early days. Um, how did the I um, cite up Bobo Shanti order? Well, you know, as I said, coming into Rastafari for I, you know, I I didn't went to a 12 tribe. I didn't went to um, the Naya Bingi theocracy reign um, like that. But, you know, I and I is, is Naya Bingi um, true and true because, you know, Naya Bingi... It, is is the order you know is is naya bingi order you know so every true rasta man is a is a naya man is a congo man is a bingi man you know mm -hmm. what i mean but you know the bobo man come now through you know is 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 a different office zin true is a priestly office zin mm -hmm. so that is all you know the the the, the bobo man the bubble man come into things because you know in my whole office where is a ceremonial order is is dealing with just like we see in the ethiopian orthodox um yes. coptic or Tawida, um church you know is 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 a ceremonial order so that is that is the office the bubble the bubble shanty um are the all within um rastafari so i you know coming into bobo shanti is when you know i there so in england you know i mean always i hear um you know the the, the different different reasoning them as a youth from in a in a in a jamaica you know what i mean but it's really when we come to england you know we met a priest you know who was a was an acting priest at the time, I believe. And you know, an Arab priest Pablo. He he was the priest at the time in England. There was other other priests, but you know, he was the priest who um gave I and I the, the, the full understanding about what the order of 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 Bobo Shanti is all about. You know what is the Melchizedek order? You know who really is is um, Prince Emmanuel? You know so it's it's a priest of the order of Melchizedek who who teach our thought I and I Zin about Bobo Shanti and and the Black Christ. You know what I mean so. You know that that is how I come into 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 Bobo Shanti by you know by the teachings of um of Prince Emmanuel through the honorable priest Pablo who was a priest from Suriname, you know what I mean from Suriname, not even Jamaica, but from Suriname, okay. seeing and he was here and you know them 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 that priest you know show I and I how to you know keep a Sabbath. You know, and I think that was one of the most important thing as as a bubble is you know keeping keeping a Sabbath, you know, know how to keep a Sabbath, know how to prepare um for the Sabbath, coming up to the Sabbath, there's a preparation, you know, all the way up, you know, to that to that sixth day, you know. So we, we give thanks for that and you know all the, the the rest of um you know culture that you know the priests 
you know, give I and I about Bobo Shanti and about um, Prince Emmanuel, the Black Christ in flesh. You know, and you know, we did the the the, the rest of it ourselves. You know, reasoning and researching. You know what I mean? And you know, going to a service and you know, practicing. You know, Psalms reading and you know, it's it's a joy. You know, Rastafari. You know, the order, the liberty. You know, it's 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 a joy, my lord. And you know, to be a Bobo Shanti. You know, it's 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 a bonus. <laughs> so we give thanks, my lord. Give thanks. Yes, so lord. so you you pique I'm on curiosity. How does one prepare for the Sabbath? Well, it's you know, as they say, cleanliness is godliness, my lord. So you know, we you know we 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 clean all the way up coming up to the Sabbath and you know, preparing, you know, the spice. You know, preparing our our whites. You know, what I mean, making sure that you know the place is tidy and clean. You know, cause you know we want to have a good, a great good energy, a godly energy. You know, in you know in 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 the in the surrounding, in the atmosphere. You know, wow. what I mean, so it's all about cleaning. You know, cleaning and preparing. You know, from Wednesday you start clean, you know, by you know, Thursday you should, you know, finish your cleaning, you know, and by Friday it's really just, you know, preparing, you know, your food, you know, preparing, you know, the the your 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 environment, you know, your garments and 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 so on, you know, going into going into um six six PM Friday evening. You know what I mean? So is 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 a preparation and you know it's like you have to be on time because you know it's 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 a science, you know. So we're using you know the time from you know six till six the next day. You know what I mean? So is 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 a science, is a preparation, you know, it's a timing, you know, everything you're not going to get it always on time, you know what I mean, but the EM is to be on time. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, so how how did the I um, journey from Jamaica to the UK? How did that journey come about? Oh, that journey there, that journey there, you know, I tricked them, tricked me for come to England. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I tricked them, tricked me for come to England. They tell me, said, they give me one, one, um, one job and one ship. Zane and when we come to England, we find out the boy and a job not there up on a ship, a different something I have got take on and you know. You see it okay. so okay. Uh, you know, we just get caught up in in the system. You know what I mean? Um came here for for for, for about six months and you know after six months we find out that we're there over ten years, you know. Whoa. Um with my, my, my first child um in 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 um two thousand you know and you know from 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 there and you know we're here but yeah them treat me for come here but it 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 was a great it it was a great experience because I I didn't graduate from school in Jamaica. Zane okay. so when when I came here, it it was also an opportunity now to um, revisit school. Okay. See, I, I I went back to I went back to the basic, you know what I mean to to um to get myself on the level where I think I needed to be to go into um, the profession that I wanted to take on, which is a a, a plumbing and gas engineer. Okay. See, so. You know, I I had to went back to school. You know, went to to, to college for for two years, and and get my um, certificate in in plumbing engineering. You know, and you know that's that's what I do now. You know, I'm a plumbing you know plumbing engineer, um, commercial plumber in in the UK, and you know all that knowledge. You know, it was it was worth it. So as I said, you know, coming to coming to the UK, um, it was it was a it was a good move. You know, in the end, because 
you know i've got some beautiful children and you know yes. they're all you know they're all born here in in the uk so how, how many you know, children five give thanks give thanks yeah man <laughs> yeah three so, girls and two boys give thanks give thanks um and and, and the i know that plumbing will never go out of style no matter how much ai and and these things so you guys choose a very wise trade you know what i mean in terms of house will always have to be built plumbing will yes. always have to be a part of that you know what i mean yes. infrastructure physical infrastructure um yes. and we're going to talk about the building of zion because this is a bridge when we chart the continent and um has been at the leading edge of actually bringing what's happening on the continent and i see a lot of my bridging um and sister in ghana on the i platform you know uh, uh and it's such a joy um to see the sure. overlap Thanks. so we, we we'll talk about that because yeah, i left out you know you're a plumbing engineer but you're also the owner and the ceo and the founder of probably the largest rastafari um media or or content creation platform on the planet. Oh, yeah, I um i i haven't found one that's bigger than the eye you know what i mean it's possible wow. it exists you know but i i don't see it and maybe somebody in the comments can drop and i'm talking about straight rastafari i mean i'll talk about rastafari mentioned from time to time on the platform or or the bridging is a rust because you do have um let me big up um chin my bridging chin irish and chin um his platform is massive but his platform is not really a rastafari platform like that mm. you know what i mean it's 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 reggae dancehall caribbean news even though he's a rastafari brethren that own the platform um but i'm yeah. talking about a platform that cater to a rastafari audience i don't see any platform bigger than the eye what was the eye journey you know from a coming from jamaica to the uk as a plumbing engineer you know building what made the i say you know what i'm going to start address iman community concerns and and start put out some content out there what was that impetus wow that's uh that's been a journey for real you know yeah give give thanks for the question my lad yeah that's been a a journey because you know we we love music you know, singers and players of instrument, my springs are in D. You know, we love music from 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 our early age. As I said, you know, Argastown is one of those places where a lot of talent um, come out of Argastown where music is concerned. And Jamaica as a whole, not just Argastown, but, you know, the entire Jamaica. I think every youth that um, grew up in Jamaica is, is, is a musician or an artist. You know what I mean? That's that's what I believe. You know, I think you know all of us who born and grew up on that island. We, you know, there's something special um, about us. You know, where the music and artistry is 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 concerned because you know you have um, ones from the island of Jamaica going into America creating hip hop. Hip hop is one of the you know the, one of the biggest music you know in the world right now reggae music is also one of the biggest um music dance music so you know jamaica the influence is is massive you know it's i, I don't think there is any culture that can compare to the culture of of, of jamaica so um the journey started where you know we did love music as me i said we was a youth where we love hip hop. We try. We, we we were some, you know, young youth where I, I I write some, you know, some little songs and you know a friend of mine is dad, um, here we, you know, and you know I say yo, you know gonna sound good, you know, you know me I go me I go go on a sound system and you know him build him build the sound system, and him just give with the sound system and say yo, do anything, you see. And I some young youth and me, me, when I have the talent, so I just do the thing. So it happened that, you know, we did do a thing, but during that time, me, me leave, come to England and things. So, you know, the whole process 
the whole of that kind of breakdown and thing and you know over a passage of time um being here in england now you know we you know we we, we are listening motor baruka from from we from we young you know what i mean we are watching um entertainment reports you know when we did jamaica you know mm-hmm. we um winford williams and mm-hmm. um, all these you know all these great you know virgins yeah so you know all those major you know people within you know you know the the, the, the culture you know had a had a, had a a role to play in you know my journey to 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 this point today so you know coming to england you know i met a friend who we work together and thing within um, the construction field, you know, a virgin from um from from Jamaica decided that he wanted to to create an online radio station, you know what I mean? And he asked me if I want to be a part of it. And you know, at the time I had a, a, a iPad where it have a whole heap of music on the iPad. When I say music. You know, me have all a Sizzler album pan, you know, pan the iPad burning, you know, me, me full of, when I say me full of music, me full of music, see? And, you know, me dead there, and, you know, we start, me start to, you know, play upon a, a Monday and thing, and a virgin, a virgin, a bobo, a bobo virgin from out of Virginia by the name of um, Corey Harris. He's a yes. he's a jazz. Me know me know Corey, yeah man. Corey. Yeah, man. So Corey Corey was on a European he was, he was on a European tour at the time. See, I think 2014, and um it was it was it was um he had he had couple shows in in the UK and thing, and you know decides a boy me gonna link up Corey and thing, see, and wanted to interview Corey. So by 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 that nothing nothing never start, you know what I mean, in terms of the mindset and thing, but you know, Corey was was coming and you know me start to think to myself, boy, you know, what may I go really name the program here? You know what I mean? And you know my virgin them are Rastafari still, you know, so my demons my Rastafari virgin them and you know my reason with one of the elders and I show him the thing and him, him said to me, say, name the program Mindset. And I said, Mindset. He said, yeah man, just name the program Mindset. You know? And from there and from, you know, him, him tell me name the program Mindset. You know, me go home and me think about it and thing and you know, from this, so I just said, all right, I'm going to name, name the, 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 the program Mindset. And, you know, Corey Harris was the first um, person I interviewed, Zane. Never knew nothing about no interview, nothing, mm-hmm. Zane. And just, uh, you know, just, uh, I, 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 I got to explore, you know, a new frontier. And, you know, Corey being a professional um musician and artist you know him him know say this was my first interview so him you know him him kind of make it easy for me in in um you know dealing with dealing with the the first ever interview so that's how it started you know and you know we we, we started doing a monday show um title the, the the flaming monday and mm-hmm. a monday where you know we we had you know play reggae music you know but you know cultural reggae music you know and you know we had a segment in 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 the in the show where we title it the spotlight hour and that hour would would um just target up and coming artists within um the reggae whether you know wherever you are once you have you know a good reggae song that hour the spotlight hour would feature you know your your reggae song and you know we we did it we did it for a couple of years you know the the mindset was on a wednesday 
was always on a Wednesday from seven seven till ten UK time. And you know, we 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 just decided that you know this this program going to be a program that you know Rastafari is is the core of 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 the of the program. You know what I mean? And that is why when you listen, you know, all the programs coming up till now, you, you will hear the program start with, you know, Naya Bingi, you know, whether it's from um, 10 Miles Bull Bay, you know, where the priests, you know, they're clapping and singing and chanting, or uh, whether it's, it's, it's a Naya Bingi um, chant, thus, you know, starting off the program then would go into one of Marcus Garvey's speeches, you know, and then into Prince Emmanuel, you know, the Black Christ. And, you know, that was the core of the program from the beginning coming up, coming up until, coming up until now. And, you know, we focus, our focus, my focus was mainly, you know, Rastafari artists, you know, interviewing them, you know, getting, um, the the perspective on 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 Rastafari and the music and and the, the 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 wider community trying to let you know their fans you know who are probably new um, get a, a better insight you know of who they are as as an individual and and a, an a artist so you know that that was the program you know coming up you know for for years. Um, left black rock radio because black rock radio is where it all started from okay what and what year what year are we talking about we're talking about 2014. okay and so some good time 10 years ago yeah so you know from there we went on to um amlock live radio um and from amlock live radio i i started to now travel um into jamaica i was invited on um the biggest ganja festival in in jamaica and the caribbean which is stepping i ganja festival at the time and you know i was invited there for about i think it was about three to four years you know i i hosted and 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 play music and you know get to meet you know a lot of different artists and different people from different walks of life you know that is where i i, I even meet um dr knife you know did an interview with him there and you know so from 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 there i started traveling and you know interviewing um artists and and different you know people from from you know different communities and you know different backgrounds you know until you know where where we are now you know so yeah wow. that's how the journey started with the mindset what what was um that big moment i still haven't had a, a, a viral moment what was your first big moment where you you drop a piece of content and you see said this thing take off okay um viral moment uh, <laughs> I don't know if if I can call it a viral moment, but um, Van, Van Benjamin, mm. Van Benjamin, um, sadly passed away a few yes. years ago. Seen, um, from the Midnight Band from yeah, out of Antigua, also you know, um, Vi, yes. and them places. Five, yeah, yeah. Seen um lately known as aki becker mm -hmm. right so you know when van when van passed away um i i wanted to to reason with van because i was just um i think probably about two 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 to year two to three years prior van passing away i was just getting into his his music and his and his and his works I think one of the first um one of the first um works I, I, I came across was a rhythm title um warrior warrior rhythm I, I, if if I'm if I'm remembering properly 
Zin. So from then, you know, I, I started to take an interest into into Van work and you know, and what he was doing. So I wanted to speak to Van, you know, because he, he was someone who was, you know, w- was extraordinary. You know, he was extraordinary. He was he was a prolific um, reggae artist, if I can call him that. See, I, I never hear no, no artist like him before. You know, I've heard Bob Marley, I've heard Cesar Colonji, you know, and I think Bob Marley and Cesar Colonji is one of the two biggest artists within um, reggae music. But Vaughn was something totally different from them two bridging there. Mm-hmm. You know, in in how we deliver, you know, and 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 so on. But cut a long story short. Zin, Van passed away. When Van passed away, um, it was in the COVID time, I, I, I think. Mm-hmm. Zin, and I think I was one of the first person to did a, 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 a vlog or, or a content, and and you know when he when he passed away. Okay. And those 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 videos. <laughs> You know, those videos really draw a lot of Vans, um, fans and friends and, and, and family um, to, to the platform, you know, because, as I said, I wanted to speak to Van, and, you know, he went, you know, abruptly like that. And I, I, I thought that I needed to, you know, start to put out you know some you know some things and yes. and, and van and people started to link me from you know all over people who know him personally you know who sit with him who drink with him who smoke with him you know started to you know started to link me and you know wanted to come on the program and 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 so on you know so van passing away i think is what wow. um, propel the, the the platform to where um it is today in our land and and he was a powerful angel i i had an opportunity to reason with him at Ralak chant bingy with him and um you know we we had said we were going to link up for the works and you know it was like a, a long last brother and then you know these things happened so uh it's not unusual to know that he gave that blessing to the eye platform because he really was the real deal in terms of you know i mean walking where you're talking you know i mean he he had that presence and that aura true about him and how i judge a man is how him how him behaving at the dinghy sometime you know and (laughs) (laughs) because you know you have some artists where them come a bingy and five minutes and they're gone you know (laughs) Van seated up in the bingo, all the fun there. You know what I mean? I say, yeah, this I am for the You know what I mean? I'm a living. Because you can't stay in a bingo and hold no fun there if you not live this. Now tell the eye, you're not going to be able True. to do it, you know? True. To hold the fun. I'm not talking about Kete where you are, you know, or, or BS even where you are, you know? Fun there. Mm-hmm. That whole of discipline, you know, the fun there is, is something where. When you see a man kind of hold a phone and he was there to the to daylight, you know, just just a whole of humble. Um, if you never know, said this was Van Benjamin from midnight, you'd have just think he's a, you know, dingy man just chatting and just yeah. a whole of, a, a, a others. I'm say yeah, this brethren really is living it, you know. So, but his his lyrics, you know, what I mean, um, as the I say, would also indicate that because he brought concepts to reggae music that never before utter mm-hmm. you know what i mean um in the reggae space and vi reggae i just went to vi for the first time it's a whole different energy than jamaica roots reggae you know as wow. well so big up all of the vi family you know what i mean um that are there so mm-hmm. what, what what i want to know reason is is a topic now which is rastafari independent non-aligned media that's the term i'm running with right now in terms of what is emerging and i look at the eye as a forerunner in terms of this space um as a uh, pioneer the eye honorable priest isaac you know to i are the two kind of forerunners 
um, with the largest platforms that I've seen. Um, and he has a similar background in radio. Um, how important is that radio side to the eye? And do you find that um, the, the, the radio audience filters onto the YouTube or, or is it two separate kind of audience? Um, that's a great question. Um, I, 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 I think that the, the, the audience there, I think they are the same audience. See, I think they are the same audience, but you will have people on, on the radio who they, they, they're not going to come on, on YouTube. Yeah. And you have people who is on the radio that's going to come on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I think is is the same audience, but is who choose what? Yes, is who choose what? Because you have some me have Rastafari elder where them now go on you. He might tell you straight. Him now in another YouTube thing. Him now in another internet thing. Him now in none of them something there. See uh, straight. So you and when you go at them man, they had music I play. He might listen him radio. Yes, you understand. In my listening radio, so the audience is the same, but is who listen what. But the, the 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 importance of of the the the, the, the radio is is it, it is important, then Because as I say, you're going to have people who not going to come online, and and you know and come and search and surf and and so on. You have people who. They are just dedicated radio listeners, you know, just like, you know, you have certain um, radio when you when you listen to them, you hear jingles that say, boy, you know, we stuck pan, we stuck pan the radio, we now move. And, and, and that, that is how um, some audience are, you know, they, them, them just stuck pan them thing if they're a fan of of um brother quiz here the lions the lions um lions voice. lion voice lion voice you know mm -hmm. them them stuck on the lion voice you know that's that's just how some people is you know but it it flocks you it flocks you with you know what i mean some people who is on who is online you know them also go them go all over the place you know what i mean and i think online now online is more is more the thing today is is more that modernized um social space uh today you know what i mean online it's not it's a, it's not so much um the binary um uh old old time old time system you know what i mean yes the the the, the system advance you know it, it is getting more sophisticated so and, and the online reaches a global audience whereas it, radio it, exactly is more regional. Ex exactly and and national yeah you know? national yeah. so so the, the the reach as you say you know online it's it's global it's it's international it's not just local and national to you know this geographical location so the, the 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 net is you know it give you a, a a vast amount of you know audience vast amount of of people so you know it's important that um we utilize it today because it's not going anywhere you know what i mean and you know this is what we have today um marcus garvey speak about um, science and, and technology that we as a people have to be extra lands with within it you know what i mean so um i think what we are doing today you know in 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 this modern age with 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 um social media is very powerful is very is is is, is very powerful and i think uh the the, the the people probably who have created you know this social space they probably didn't have 
the idea that it probably would have propelled to where it is today and yes. of the impact that it, it it really have because you know it have so much of an impact that something real that will publish you have the mainstream will say this is fake and it's <laughs> it's actually the real deal yeah. and what they're telling you is actually the fake stuff you know what i mean so it it is it is very powerful very powerful and it is important that i and i as rastafari you know we utilize it in in the best possible way that we can uh, what i want to know from the eye is the role of rastafari in this content creation media space because um, you know, I and I, we had a conversation off air and, you know, we were talking about in general, mm -hmm. but in terms of, you know, what is, what is our role? You know, the I and I who have, who have stepped into this arena, how do you, how does the I, you know, as a pioneer, because the history book will record the I as a pioneer in this, um, in this area, how does the I see it as someone who has been when did the I start their YouTube channel? In um, 2014. So uh, I wasn't it. really serious with it. Was uploading now and then, and you know, until Still. until about 2016, 17. You know, we really start to you know pay pay some attention to it. Yes. But um, to to the to the question what they are is asking you know mm -hmm. um marcus garvey is is very um influential in 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 all of this because marcus garvey had a printry scene and and that is how he could have dispersed and get his his his, his word out there to you know to gather um you know the people who was interested in what he had to say so the 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 the, the, the platform the the social media you know i and i as rastafari have to be the marcus garvey now you know where you know you know the social media platform is concerned and and why i why i said that is because today zine you have you have artists you have reggae artists who are influential very influential and people listen to them and 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 they come as rastafari um artists yeah and these artists these reggae artists what they're doing they're misleading they're misleading black people african mm. people See, and I don't want to call any particular name, but I'm sure people know and hear the ones who are vocal about um, Jamaica, black people is indigenous to Jamaica, where within Rastafari, um, nothing no gosso, nothing no gosso within Rastafari. Zin, black people, is Africans and that is why I, I use Marcus Gavi in the beginning mm -hmm. because Marcus Gavi is the one who was saying Africa for the Africans woman abroad born and and born so we have to repatriate back to Africa Marcus Gavi is one Marcus Gavi is a forerunner he is the man as I said pint us to his majesty so the blueprint or the black print that Marcus Garvey left was a back to Africa um, mission. It was going back to Africa. We were taken out illegally, so we have to now return. And if if we're gonna get help to return, all good and well. But we have to independently make our way back to back to Africa. So that is how the Black Star Line came into play see that we wanted to transport ourselves we wasn't going to depend on um the the, the the white man to to do this for us zine so when you have reggae artists today zine selling a narrative 
that they are Rastafari and they are telling the people um, that they are indigenous to Jamaica. I think us as influencers, us as ones who use this platform to edify our brothers and sisters and to show them Rastafari and to show them their roots and where they're coming from and where they need to go. I think I and I and this platform is very important. Zin, we are very to 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 debunk these narrative that these sellout system dogs or whatever people want to call them are doing. Yes. See, because they are misleading and they, they, when when they make their money off of the name of Rastafari, this is the thing that they come now and they're doing, they're misleading the people, telling they're indigenous to, to, to Jamaica and they're Aboriginal. Now, not just the reggae artists, but you have you have American, African Americans in America with the same narrative. Mm-hmm. With the same narrative that they are Aboriginals and they are indigenous to America, Zine, and that is a lie. That is a false narrative that is being that is being pushed by the same system, which the system use our same people who look like me and you, Zine, who sound very um, articulating and intellectual, and they sound like them know. A whole heap of things what we don't know, but it's them same ones they're using in America today, black people in America, to, to, to sell a narrative that black people is indigenous to, to the Americas when nothing no go so. Yes. See, we, we know the history and no one can fool us. The history show with that you have you have man like Mansa Musa and Kan Kan Musa who was emperors in Mali in the 1300 AD or whatever. Zin, they came to the Americas and South and Central and, and, and North America. Those are the Af- they are Africans. Zin, they came before the transatlantic um, slavery. They came before um, Christopher Columbus. They came before all these virgins. Zin, all the you, all of them. Zin, so those are the, the same African Zin in America, in a Jamaica, what them call maroon and all them different different titles. They are the same Africans, Zin, and and they want to. They and, want and there to may have been Africans from before, like the Olmecs who came to Ex- the, exactly. the other side from to the Australia Polynesia. Because all of those islands in the Pacific were Africans, but but you're right; these are still African people who just came earlier time Early. period. And um, um, you're so correct that our role is to really highlight because there are all these narratives. But the way I look at it is that it's the wheat and the tears growing together, and not everybody can make this great return. You know, some will perish, and it's and it's written. And I so I try not to argue with the ones. And the only thing I will say to them is that before you make your final choice, make sure you go and touch your foot on the soil of Africa. If it doesn't call to you, fine, but don't make a man talk you out of your birthright, you know, before you go there for yourself. That's the only thing I say, I, I say to them, you know what I mean? Is go for yourself. If it, if it doesn't connect with you, then fine. But I, 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 I don't argue with people who tell you that they're indigenous to the West and some people would tell you that Jerusalem was in the West and all of these places were in, you know, there's so many doctrine. Um, the more I research though, is the more I see the ancient African presence was truly here from ancient, you know, that black people cover the whole planet, Africans cover the whole planet from, you know, uh, thousands of years um, mm-hmm. ago because they're finding all of these pyramid structures and monolithic structures all over creation. So um, I don't have no doubt, but this thing as the I say where you're indigenous, no, um, you know, all of us, and, and we see the DNA tells the story because Africa have the most genetic diversity more than the Americas, and if these same indigenous ones do their DNA, point them right back to Africa, 
you know what I mean? Them are gonna find out say a Yoruba, a Fanti, a, a Bantu, a this and that. So there's True. no but if you do the Australian DNA, you see a divergence, you know what I mean? But people in the West, black people in the West, um, they are straight African when 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 you look on a, a DNA level. So um you're so right in terms of the role um of of rastafari media now in in terms of your space i've noticed a shift in in your content you used to do a lot more um stuff with the artists and i noticed now a shift more to highlighting community members which i appreciate love because you know this is how we kind of get to learn about ones who are doing works. I, I particularly love the I works in Ghana. Talk about, you know, that 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 kind of shift. Um, I, and you had shared with I that there are some difficulties that, that come with with dealing with the artists. Um, I'm an entertainment attorney, so I know firsthand um, the world that come with the, the music world. You know what I mean? Um, that's why I, I chose purposely to stay away from artists for my first couple of years <laughs> you know i wanted to highlight the frontline workers because i know once you start going to the and then also i didn't want to train my audience to just look for the next artist yeah to come on you know what i mean or the next big story artist story i wanted to kind of build a core um now i'm seeing that in terms of the analytics and the thing the artists do have a a major role because they have the audience and doing it the way I'm doing it has taken a lot longer than even I thought it would take because they don't have the reach. You know, your interview, yes, these elders and these one workers may be legends to I and I, but to the public, you know, that is not going to make them click when they see. <laughs> so how, how does the eye navigate all of those things and, and talk to us about the shift in the eye content? All right. Um, you know, you have a lot of people out there that, you know, they put on a, a, a facade, you know, you know, like they are something that they're really not, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people are malicious, you know, and I come across some malicious um, entertainers and, 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 and reggae and dancehall artists you know what i mean so i decided that i'm not really gonna pay much um attention to um to these malicious individual because most of them sell out and we know this you know because it's not even a matter of real no real you know we know what we know see so going to ghana you know going to ghana is an experience you know within it within itself it's a great experience for i have been there um this year for the third time you know and you know from the first time to the third time you know i've seen different things you know what i mean different things and ones have to experience it for themselves i can't go into the details of my experience the, the experience what, is, what was is the first year that you touched ghana the first year yeah oh was it you yeah, know what year what year was the first time you visited the first year was um 2021 okay. Yeah, okay. 2020 coming to the yeah <clears throat> So 2021. And, and there I see the great change from that time. So you can imagine, I, I went to Ghana the first time, 2005. You know, wow. we've been traveling to Ghana from them time there. So the change, but but the eye touch it. You know, you unless you're there, you can't explain it to a one. What's, yes. happen, what's happening there. You have, yeah, you have, you have to, you know, you have to be there to experience, to overstand, you know, but one thing i would say i would you know encourage all my brothers and sisters to make a trip to to the motherland you know wherever you can see but the the whole shift now within you know the content i realize within myself of self that you know within the art of rastafari and also within you know bobo shanti 
you know there are there are a lot of there are a lot of elders seeing that is on the continent right now who have been there for many years people hear about them young rasters um coming up hear about them they don't know them you know but them hear about them hear story about you know these elders what they used to do and you know the things that they contributed and things you know so i i decided from my you know from myself that like oh i'm one of those individual who would like you know to 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 see these elders to hear these elders experience um why not just you know turn the attention and to to the elders and to the bridge in them who is on the continent you know what i mean you know so that is how the 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 the, the, the shift really come in terms of um you know the, the the content that i'm i'm trying to focus in and now i'm trying to cater for you know ones out there who are you know asking these questions who want to see these individual who want to hear you know these individual my love because there are there are so many and it's like they have been neglected you know what i mean and and no one is 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 paying attention to them you know i i i meet several priests and you know one particular priest you know was saying to me that him have him story and him need to tell him story you know what i mean and this you know this priest is in africa for over 30 years wow and no one heard his story you know what i mean my lad so that is important and before the 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 the, 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 the cut a while ago I was saying that I, I met priest Turks and he was saying how important it was for us to know, for, for us to document because that was one of the things that he regretted that he didn't do more while he was um, in Jamaica, you know what I mean, in, um, in the, in, on Boba Hill. He wanted to document it more of, of King Emmanuel, King Emmanuel and, and Rastafari and a whole. So, you know, that's that's where I and I have to be more focused and focusing on now. We have to we have to document our story. You know, Good that job. is that is important. You know, as 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 journalists, as influencers, as you know, bloggers or vloggers or whatever one wanna term us as within this space, you know, we have to make sure that we be that Marcus Gavi who was reaching the people through his paper. Now we are using social media in this modern time to, to reach the people and you know to direct the people to, to where they're supposed to go. It's not Jamaica, but it's to Ethiopia, Africa. You know what I mean? That is that is where black people is originally from and that is where we need to return so our duty now is to make sure say, we hold the line my lad narrative, the hold narrative. The line. they are speaking i'm on language you know um because that that is one of the things that a common theme on my channel is have we lost that fire for repatriation and what is really happening you know because as you say we see the narrative shift because we're not controlling the narrative because the reggae artists are depending on europe and california for their bread you know what i mean we're not here about africa again we're not here about return to africa we're not here about these things and there's no alternative it's one thing if that's happening and there's a strong alternative but without rastafari media voices there's no strong alternatives and you know, um, I come from an era where we burn camera, you know. I I, I laugh. I have a bridge in Ghana, Bingishan, Abisha. Um, I'm going to be interviewing him to, um, uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact. And um, we laugh because we used to do so much work in a DC and we burn camera and we are, you know, we are Rastafari youth and we right now we lament because there's so much we... we, we we wish that we had access that we could have show, you know, um, the works, uh, symposiums and conferences and 
you know, just bingies and so much great gatherings, international gatherings, and we don't have the footage. You know what I mean? Works upon works upon works, and you know what I mean? So we give thanks um, that in this time we have changed that. Uh, and it's funny because His Majesty is one of the most documented world leaders of all time. So it's like we disobey, we, 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 we create these things in our own mind. And that's why I just start to get militant with ones them who now deal with the teaching. Because his sister, every time we deviate from His Majesty's example, we, we don't produce the fruit. There's no fruit produced. It's just kind of like a confusion. Anytime True. we stick to His Majesty's example, great things happen you know what i mean so that's why i really start getting militant on that point there because i'm not arguing with a man who says rasta and him or this is majesty you know what i mean which these these people are out there i mean i've got take no time to argue with that with a man like that because it don't make no sense to i um all right so talk to i um i'm not going to keep the eye much longer family it's late we up in the hours in the UK. I'm a gift thanks that I just started. This is just part one. Uh, I'm gonna go on the Bridging <laughs> platform. The Bridging is gonna be returning here. We don't do one interview here on Lion Voice Network. We know we don't believe in them something there. Um, this is a family, this is an uprising. We're cataloging um something that's happening in real time. So when you hear me talk about Rastafari and independent non-aligned media. You know what I mean? You're looking at, again, one of the forerunners here. Um, we're going to be having some meetings offline. We're going to report them here. We're going to be working. I'm going to be working with the bridge because I want the bridge and set up his subscription service. Um, and I want to encourage the family to go and support the bridge monetarily because, yes, we give thanks for I just start, but we want to see I just start be able to employ a staff and, you know, our content creators be able to employ people and we're overseeing True. visions and you know we're scaling this media so we can we can put if there's a young artist a young chronics or a young this person or that person right we can put them on a press run through rastafari media and then reach a million people and then have them fan base they don't have to sell out they don't have to feel like True. they have to do nothing because Everything is there for them through our ecosystem, our audiences that we have cultivated. Um, this is central to I, the mission of Rastafari Media. We have to create our own ecosystem so that, yes, we can go out of it and reach the wider world, but our core has to be solid, you know what I mean, amongst I and I self. So I'm encouraging all Lion Voice who are not already subscribed to I Just Star Mindset go and subscribe to the Bridging platform. Um, there I have some nice merch I see the I wear. How can ones um, purchase the merch and, and have access to the eye um, vibration? Um, ones, ones can um, purchase via Teespring. Uh, most, most of the videos that, that is online um, got the links on there. Or, you know, you can you know, check my um social media you know either instagram or facebook you know you'll you'll you know you'll always come up against um you know those links but if if people want to really um support um the merch is is i just start the mindset um at teespring.com you know once so we'll, once we'll put that up on the screen again. we'll put it up on the screen so ones can see um and, and just give us um some final words sound um to the the lion pride family the, the the our growing community um you know what what words do you have for our community i started off this by saying we're living in unprecedented times the armor gideon that you know our elders had spoken about is here you know we're seeing the collapse of the petrol dollar we're seeing um the, the Western powers, the G7 powers preparing for war. We're seeing the rise of BRICS and the global south. Um, at the same time, we're seeing um, the culture, you know, more demonic, more uh, devilish than ever being pushed on the youth. What is the eye sound for I and I family as a one who has covering the times in real time, as a one with such a large platform? What is the eye 
sound to the global family right now? I, I would encourage one to strengthen your mind. And that being, you know, read, you know, read, read good books, you know, read, read a lot, you know, and strengthen your faculties because I think most of the things them that um, we miss out on today is, is in good books that can really, um, can really help us to to advance ourselves as as a people another um good book i would like to share okay. with the item is is a book um titled um leadership is in your dna wow Seen? um I, I i bought this book in 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 ghana um this year and you know just started to read it and it's very very interesting i think all of us as a people you know in some way we we are we are leaders you know we we might not be you know this this major mega star or individual you know but we can lead within our own um confined uh space our community you know our groups our networks you know what i mean so i think we are our leaders and once we strengthen our mind we will have the understanding and the know how you know how to how to lead you know what i mean because marcus gavi was a was a, was a great leader and you know he was leading us towards africa zin and we still we still hold on to marcus gavi philosophy today you know we 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 going to africa whether you know they like it or not you know that is still the narrative you know back to africa repatriation international freedom redemption international repatriation you know that's that's the mandate you know we have to return any means necessary and you know look after ourselves you know what i mean i think um your health your, your health is important you know eat well exercise you know work hard you know and 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 look after yourself because you know we we are in a war we're you know we're on a battlefield you know regardless how the social construct might look to you zine it might not look like it's a battlefield because of the social construct within the matrix but don't be deceived by what you you're not seen you know we are in a war and we have to be we have to be fit you know what i mean soldiers warriors you know they have to be fit um to win any battle you know what i mean or even to be defeated you still have to be <laughs> you have to be fit so take care of yourself honorable family eat good exercise zin look after your children then be your first gods and goddess to your children you know don't let your children them have any other gods outside of you which is you know the gods and goddess within your household you know what i mean because you have all sort of gods out there that is trying to captivate your youth mind because the youths is the next generation you know so they them know them can't penetrate us so it's the youths that they're trying to penetrate now. So protect the youths them. Guard their mind. You know what I mean? Shield their mind. Protect them where they got guidance. You understand? So protect the youths them. Because a lot of the things them that you know they're forcing on our children today, especially in the educational system, is not educational um, beneficial to them now and it won't be in the future. So Take care of the youths, them. Take care of ourselves. You know, love our one another. You know, put away petty differences and let's become a new race that His Majesty speak about in this 21st century, my brothers and sisters. So those are the few words I want to um, chat with. It's been an honor. 
it's been a pleasure and you know i want to thank my brother brother quasi for you know for inviting me on your platform you know i, I love the questions them that you ask and you know i look forward to to the return my lord yeah man. And it's not going to be a long time before they return um because as i said i i really my passion right now is this rastafari media because i realize um how important our narrative is in terms of this return this repatriation and working together um to have a consistent narrative i i think there's you know there's a reason why marcus garvey you know is the number one pan-african um leader that we have in the in the annals of history and has the largest pan-african organization up until this time and it's because he invested in what was the technology of the time the printing press was the internet of its day you know and he, he, he invested heavily mm -hmm. um, based on his work in costa rica and in seeing and having that that knowledge of traveling and, and seeing how people were getting information and yes. we know you know what i mean who who have this insight and have been called because it's a calling because people don't know how much work they i do to keep up them broadcast there it's not no simple <laughs> something you know what i mean to upload yeah. this do that 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 editing uh thumbnail uh coming with the title you know what i mean there's so much little work that the eye is doing um that ayman is now doing that honorable priest isaac is doing that breadlocks is doing that you know we have a whole heap of uh, uh, other platforms that we're we're gathering um and we're going to be highlighting them on the lion voice network um and we're yes. going to be uniting in real time um because everyone i call when i call this bridge and the bridge is saying ready you know what i mean when i call mm -hmm. honorable priest isaac him saying ready when i call anyone i i've been talking to so there's it's obvious to i that his majesty is, is working you know what i mean and that awesome. I and I have been called to a bigger um, issue because honestly, I was expecting a little bit of pushback because sometimes man can be territorial with them thing, you know what I mean? But I have not gotten one ounce of that vibration from anyone, you know what I mean? You've Even done. It, um, Muta Baruka, you know what I mean? That I, I was honored to, to reason with, you know what I mean? These ones are, are ready for something because ones want to see Rastafari rise to our rightful place and we have not reached that 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 summit yet you know what i mean but we mm -hmm. all know the the possibility and we can all feel you know what i mean we can all feel that potential of where we can take it because we've seen um other nations take our brand and and do you know massive things with it you know what i mean so we know uh, the proof of concept is there so i just want to thank the eye and say what a great honor it is to have the eye on the platform finally this was something that you know i've been looking forward to for over a year um you know just wow. watching when i saw the eye comment on one of my videos you know it was such a great day for you you know um, my God. Wow. <laughs> I can tell you is this is how we you know watch you know what i mean and and it was a great and these little things we don't know said these things can just brighten up a one day you know true um, true uh, 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 and yeah, I did that for I as a, as a major platform and them time that I maybe had a thousand, fifteen hundred subscribers. So, you know, what I mean, it, 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 these things matter and we're going to again rise up. A rising tide lifts all boats and we are going to work together. Uh, and I say that without apology, I come with a track record and a resume to so me speak without apology when we talk to, you know, what I mean, yes, um, so we're looking forward to this uprising continue to do what you're doing continue to inspire continue to uplift continue to educate uh, continue to travel to the continent because when i'm not there and i look at the icon content and make i man feel good to know that someone is, is is interviewing because the other thing is these elders are passing away from this plane of reality so the longer we take we're losing libraries every day true you know, you know and, and i someone so this work is so um necessary and that is why family i keep saying circulate the dollar make sure i just start have travel money make sure that you know don't feel like everyone have to work for free 
um, to bring us this greatness that they are bringing us. Mecca and I normalize that within the family, that if we can go buy a hundred dollar bag every strong, and we are spent, we mm -hmm. can take a ten dollar a month and give to a content creator, or we can have fifty dollars and give to five content creators ten dollars a month. Whatever the, the scheme is, you know, I mean, let us normalize this um, with our family to support because the bigger our platforms get families is the more places you have to advertise your products to come and talk about the events that you're doing. We can be able to now sponsor events. You know, I just start can sponsor a festival. Lion Voice can sponsor an event that's mm -hmm. happening. You know what I mean? So when you support um, the media, you know what I mean? When you support the content creator platform, you're really supporting ourselves, And I want that to be hammered into the family. Why? Because the time has come for the lions and the lionesses to tell our own story. And this is the Lion Voice. Lion Voice. This is culture sound, culture sound, a Rastaman sound, positive sound. Culture sound system with DJ culture for the DJ. And now you're in tune to the culture sound, Rasta sound. Culture sound because of DJ culture for the DJ. Hi, and I help coming from the true living eyes, Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie the first, who created Zion and Earth. He shall not suffer and I foot to be moved. I hold, he that keep it Ethiopia shall neither slumber nor sleep. Well. Youths in the streets right now, riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. One bad police right now, riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. No justice, no peace right now, riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. The fire now cease right now, riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. The youths them rise against brutality, man a kill another man for your salary. Them train them at the shooting gallery, black and loot, you might lose all your family. Them defend white supremacy So them see the African as them enemy Yeah, I'm gonna say a culture this sound This for centuries, them sick mentally That's why we Have the out in the streets right now Riots in your town now Babylon them burning down One bad police right now Riots in your town now Babylon them burning down No justice, no peace right now Riots in your town now Babylon them burning down The fire now cease right now Riots in your town now Babylon them burning down Them, burning down. them said them tired of the loot Looting, I and I tired of them shooting. Crew clubs clan they recruiting. Then them just up in a blue suit and they brutalizing and use them. No court, they just execute them. Till the people start learn the truth and the black youth go strap on them Gideon boot and them out in the streets right now. Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. One bad police right now. Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. No justice, no peace right now. Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning down. The fire now cease right now. Riots in your town now, Babylon them burning them down. Burning down. Now when this the leaders is the of the world are feeling so their responsibility to lead the youths them to a brighter future. Well, I and I, I and I hear the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, Lord's rightful ruler. Go, yes, I go. I just the far and crown, and come to me. We come to tell them I'm a Babylon, they're falling down. A right in a culture sound, to me a million, but give it up. We come to tell them I'm a Babylon, they're falling down. We come to tell them I'm a Babylon, they're falling down. We come to tell them I'm a Babylon They're falling down Come to you We come to tell them I'm a Babylon They're falling down We come to tell them I'm a Babylon They're falling down We're fighting between Solomon and Sea Well them press tight to want her family to lead Well King Michael This is Brody J, you know representing the culture of the region Now watch the whole fam Married to a niece Who get up every day And I study and I read He work and he pray Every day he achieve them for your leader, every ancient leader.